Hey everyone, this is Brainwaves and in this video I'm going to show you four ways to convert MIDI to audio inside Ableton. Alright, so for this example I have this melody with these claps. And so the first way to convert this melody to audio would be to, to use the freeze and flatten feature in Ableton which is pretty simple you just come to the MIDI track that you're trying to convert to audio then hit freeze and then once it's frozen you right click again and choose flatten now your track is converted directly to audio you can do this with both tracks at the same time as well you can select both of the tracks or whichever amount of tracks that you have and click freeze and then flatten and now you will have both of the tracks converted to audio separately but let's say that you want to merge these two MIDI tracks into one audio track one way to do that would be to use the resampling mode in Ableton so let me just Control Z a couple of times just to get this back into MIDI and uh, for the resampling mode what you do is just you create a new audio track and then you choose in here resampling now you hit this red button in here and you click record Now you have both of these two MIDI tracks converted into one audio track. This of course would work if this was also audio, uh, audio tracks instead of MIDI, it doesn't matter. So another way would be to use the audio routing inside Ableton. Instead of choosing here the X thing, I can put like melody, then click this button and hit record. Now even though that the, both of the clips are sounding at the same time, since I routed the audio from the melody, I'm only getting the melody uh, to be printed into the audio in here. So it would be exactly the same for the claps. I just choose claps in here, which is the name of the audio channel, I mean the MIDI channel then just click record while having the this track armed and now even though both of the tracks were sounding in the master i just get the audio printed information of the claps because of the audio routing here Last but not least, my favorite way is to use a Max for Live device called Bouncing Place, which costs like five dollars, something like that. It's really cheap, but it's well worth it. Uh, and with this one, it's basically similar to resampling, but you kind of set it and forget it. You, what I did is just set some uh, shortcuts in the Max for Live plugin. If I hit this button, which I have routed to number three on my keyboard, it will resample the selected track. And if I touch this button, which I have routed to number two in my keyboard, it will uh, resample the whole master. So basically what I do now, if I want to resample something specifically, is that I just go to the track it doesn't have to be armed or anything, like bouncing place does everything for you. And I just hit number three. Or if I wanted to resample just the claps, I just select the channel of the claps, then just hit number three again. Or if I want to resample everything in the track, I just hit number two. it's any, as easy as that but yeah anyways if you don't want to buy this one or 
for whatever your reason you prefer the other methods well they are there for for a reason at the end of the day it's up to you but yeah this is uh, these are four ways that i found really helpful to convert my media information to audio information that's it for this one i hope this has been helpful let me know what else you would like me to cover in this channel i appreciate the comments please subscribe leave a like and i'll see you around